and one ten-year-old son and somebody said boy you're old but you're still a firelight bullet <laughs> I don't know what Island tell me, you know. <laughs> I got two daughters, and uh, 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 most of you know them. Uh, Anne Marie and Constance Marie. They have given me so far three grandchildren, two boys. Uh, no, three, three grandchildren. And a fourth one is on the way, a fourth one is in the oven. For the younger one, which is um, Connie. And they wanted me to read a oh, holy pistol they give me an but me I just may read some sections. Um first of all, um my oldest daughter is a playwright. She writes plays and uh, she's doing very well. Doing very well. Yeah. My second daughter says she's a dancer. And she has a she has a dance school and uh, she's doing very well. Right now she can't kick too high cause she belly too big. <laughs> but uh, my daughter says um, on behalf of the Shorter and Thomas families, they say we are sorry that we are not able to be there with you. However, it is for good it is for good reason. And she said, the reason we're not there not is because we are expecting a beautiful addition to our family in September. A baby girl, they don't have a name for her, yeah. A baby girl named Laura and Grace Shorter. And she says, I'm sure in a few years, you know she know that? She was a prophet. I am sure in a few years, at the next family reunion, you will all get a chance to meet the newest member of the clan. You know how she know that? But that's what she said. And as I dropped down, she says, I praise God that I was born into this family via or via my father, Rupert Joseph Blaze. That's what she talked about. I have found, I have fond memories of encounters that I had with, with my uncle and aunts and specific names she mentioned, Rudolph, Sonny, Eddie, Paco, Joe. Joe is my favorite. Where Joe be? Joe, Joe, come sing my song for her. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Aggie, and Roz. And hear what I say about, wait, is he, is he with the, the, the praise of Roz? They say, to this day, I love and cherish you all, uncles and aunties, and in fact, I must say that one of the best friends in my adult life has been and still is my Auntie Ross. Check it out, she's got a big, big capital R-O-Z. I praise God for her role in my life. What? You don't even know that. For the encouragement, love, kindness, and firm advice she continues to impart into me and my family. And she says, thank you, Auntie Ross. Where Auntie Ross there? It's right there, bro. Oh, right there, bro. Right there. She want to take you over me for a long time. So she will really come yeah. again. And then she says now to everyone, aunts, uncles, and cousins, may this time in Antigua at the reunion be one of the greatest experiences that you will have in 2011. And may the memories from it linger in your mind to be told to generations to come in Blaze Liverpool fashion. Boy, she is right. Just one more thing before I am. Um, what make you look so much like, you, like your wife? <laughs> is your mother? <laughs> oh, Miss Sari, is this is this me? What's the man to talk to me, man? Is that the sister? Boy, you choose, you choose it. Wait, well, you choose it. The richest is a cake boy. You must have just yam that straight. Hey, no, I didn't mean that to the heart. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, my friend? I 
and I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see both of you. Look at her now. Look, look at this one here. I said she smiled. She smiled at you every night like that. And you know you can't resist. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you very much, and I want to thank my band back here. You know, soon we're gonna have a blaze, man. Enough. We are gonna be better than the Beatles. Watch it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why, the reason why we are here is because. Even though our roots are in Dominica, Antigua is a home for us. I remember I used to, hey, I was a pretty bad boy, you know, when I was growing up. Growing up from home and so. And one particular time I ran away from home all Saturday. Growing up because we could get licks. So, breakfast pass, me get my breakfast meal, they say me home. Lunch come, me go home. Dinner, till me go home. But then me say, oh Lord, me go home. No. So I go, I go home, tiptoe, in the door, you know. Me see my food on the table. Knife and fork and so, nice setup. So as I get in here, Sit down, move the chair, sit down at the table. Bam! Start eating food. I said, Lord, this is my prayer. Lord, never forget my legs tonight, please. So I do my food, I wash my kid, I go and sleep. Next morning, the old man see me and say, Hey, I still have a licking for you. <laughs> He said, you want it now or you want it later? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in Antigua, we wake up to the sun. Oh, I just want to recite a few words of this, of this song for you before I sing it. It says, Antigua is home. It's home for me. The land of sun and sea and total beauty. So when you hear me sing this song, think about that. This coral island in the Caribbean Sea has its own identity. I don't know why they're kicking up about Antigua. Has its own identity. And this is, this is the land that my father and mother decided they were going to hang the hat. And that they were going to generate, you know, every time. But my, just one more thing. When I was born, first of all, everybody was born at home. Mom don't go to hospital and say, you know when you see, you know when you see nurse at the mouth? When you see she come, you know, pick me up. And daddy, who don't do his work and so, his work was to, daddy, get the basin with the warm water. So you see it, you jump in the bedroom, so what? And as soon as the water done, you hear, <laughs> why, why are you laughing at? <laughs> and I want to tell you, that was the way it was at our house. Nobody go hospital and so. Beginning, beginning, bing, baby barn. So after me, how much more come? How much more come after me? It's five? Why? Rapid succession. <laughs> Good thing the old man was a police. <laughs> Anyway, here, here's, the, here's the last song before I let you go. Uh, yes. How's that? Yes. How was that? That's how you know about Brigadine, Brigadine. Is she right, you know? I don't know what my mother and father had to talk about, but they're talking forever. And so I want to know and watch me a peep. But not to lie, the rest I had to. <laughs> Hit it, baby. <laughs> Thank you. And we can feel down. Woo! Antigua is home. It's home for me. Land of sun and sea. And total beauty. Island. 
Japanese. Yeah! 